Okay, guys, used to be paradise. It was an explosion, a complete immersion. I never thought there would be a place for me to be myself. Studio! Ah! Anybody ah! tells you that they were there in the 70s and remembers it wasn't there. You were in the middle of a group of the most beautiful men you'd ever seen. As you could feel the energy move throughout the whole room. When you crossed over into the threshold of the dance floor was a kind of alternative reality. It was really my entrance into life. I was wide-eyed. It was Hollywood. Opening night, you had 1,500 people. And the turntable would jump. I said to Scott, call RCA, get someone down here to fix that damn turntable. Scott was an eye doctor, and this is how it goes. Ma, I'm closing my practice in Boston. I'm going to open up a gay disco in Los Angeles. Click. It was not uncommon to put whatever cocaine they had, and we would just take from the pile as it went along and went back to serving drugs. My, or serving drugs, serving drinks. It was so new in all ways. I mean, the music and the dance floor, and we could hear the sound and the boom, 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 and in the back lot with the stage. And all of a sudden, I looked over, and I see Cary Grant walk through the doors. Oh my God, it's Cary Grant. I remember seeing Betty Davis. To see Rock Hudson, I thought, wow, the whole place was packed with celebrities. And all that jazz. <laughs> Knowing that Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire and all of these great stars were coming through this dance hall just made me laugh. Women had to have three pieces of ID. Open-toed shoes were not allowed. There was discrimination against blacks. Protest began almost immediately. These protests were broad range. The fact that they made the decision to bring me with them the night of the fundraiser, if something's gonna happen and the place is gonna get blown up, at least we're all there together. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. That's so-and-so, he's gone. It's just shocking. Like within a week, if you went on vacation and you took a trip, you'd come back to find out who had died. I see all of these people that I used to dance with at the clubs. This is 30 years later and I still get very emotional about it. Not only did you lose people who were um, not, uh, stop, stop. they're so horrible. <laughs> so this proposal now to actually tear the building down. That is what instigated this event. We're gonna remember our experiences at Studio One. Once the show started, the magic happened. West Hollywood lost 10,000 people, and their spirits are still here because this was the place where they were happiest. God bless Studio One forever. You started this